Hi and welcome to Chicky Richo's Pie Maker Vanilla Slice. This recipe comes as a request from Holly who is trying to decide whether she would like to buy a pie maker for her family. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. There are only four of them. We have 300 grams of cream, 150 grams of milk, a little 100 gram packet of Cotty's Instant Pudding Mix. Uh, they come in a variety of flavors including chocolate and strawberry and a couple of sheets of puff pastry. We will be using a Sunbeam Magic Pie maker uh, which holds four pies you just have to make a couple more batches if you're using a, a two pie maker first thing that we're going to do is pour our milk into as just a stand mixer with our cream and our instant pudding mix now don't follow the packet directions because it's not going to work and we just pour that on top and we just mix it up until it's well combined and it'll start to thicken medium speed for about a minute or so Okay, that's nice and well incorporated now. Really quite thick as you can see. And that will actually thicken more on standing. We don't care about that because we're actually gonna be cooking it in our pies. You can get two pies out of one sheet of puff pastry. Even if you have to overlap them a little bit, it doesn't matter. Okay, there's our pudding there to one side. Okay, if you position your little pie cutters like so, you should be able to get two pies out of each sheet of pastry. And don't have to discard these scrappy bits. They can be used for other things as well. Rerolled into more pies if you like. Now we want these to be nice and crispy and we don't want our filling to make them quite soggy. So what we're gonna do is basically blind bake them first in the pie maker. So we get the bottoms of our pastries to start with and press them into the bottom of our pie maker. Now this is slightly larger than the Kmart pie maker, I believe. So you're going to have to adjust your measurements to suit. Okay, I just press this right into the bottom. Keep your tops for later. You can't blind bake them obviously. And just push them right in like so and continue with the rest. Right, turn it on and just blind bake that for a couple of minutes. Okay, after a couple of minutes, it's nearly got a bit translucent. We're just going to push it back down in the bottom so that it doesn't get too puffed up and not accept our filling. Now, I've just got a glass that'll do that, but don't leave it in there because you'll find that it'll break the glass. Now, we just get a scoop of our filling, like so. Put it in our little pie. This is quite a large scoop. You could probably use a smaller one than that. And then we just pop our lid on the top, press it down. It'll stick. And then when we put the lid back down, it'll crimp it for us. So it's pretty well where we want it at the moment. Now you can ice these with some passion fruit icing to make them look quite authentic, or you can just dust them with some icing sugar, whatever you like. Just close the lid. And we're gonna cook them for about five or so minutes until they're nice and crusty and brown on top. All right, so I just put the pieces of scrap pastry in between the two sheets of plastic, and then it doesn't stick to anything. You don't have to add an extra flour or anything like that. And you can probably get another pie out of one batch of scraps. Just roll that out. Okay, after another five or so minutes, this is what you should have. We just lift those out now, pop them to one side. As you can see, it's better if you don't overfill them and just allow those to cool. We're just going to turn that off and we've got another whole sheet of pastry. We're just going to push that into the hole. Don't burn yourself because this is still hot. You might be better off turning this off first. Okay, so just blind bake those. I'm just going to take that off there so it doesn't burn. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just escaped from the pies. As you can see, the high cream and fat content has made it release really quite easily. So nothing's stuck at all. And that'll just wipe out easily with some paper towel. And just close it for a few minutes. Okay, now if you're not going to eat these pies warm, and they are delicious warm with a scoop of ice cream, you could make them look a little bit more authentic by getting some icing sugar and just some fresh passion fruit. Mix that all around and then we're going to pour that on top of our pies. But you can't put this on until it's nice and cool. Mommy, I might just need a stool. <laughs> You'll be right. That'll do. This icing for this one. There. Okay. So we'll just get our vanilla slices and just spread our passion fruit icing over the top. Now this recipe will actually make eight pies, which will require four sheets of puff pastry. Okay, you cut it in half and this is what you should have. Passion fruit icing, nice soft custody filling and a crispy top pastry which was baked all the way through. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out our Cheeky Richo cooking channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We've got so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos and thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the recipe Holly.